Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of simple interest, specifically how we can calculate it from problem situations, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So our formula here for simple interest is I equals PRT. We're just going to multiply those three things. So the I equals, that's our interest. So that's usually what we're looking for is what is the simple interest, but it needs to say specifically it's simple, not compound. So the P equals the principal. That's how much money you start with. Uh, the rate is the interest rate, always given as a percent, which you will have to turn into a decimal. And then the T is the length and time, uh, usually in years, length in years. So a sample problem might be something like this. You've got uh, $3,000 uh, invested, so there's your principal, and you have simple interest, and it is at, oh, they might give you a 4.5% simple interest rate, and it is over four years. Now, here's one thing that they'll always say is that they will always say no additional uh, additions or withdrawals just because that's going to change, uh, change your balance. So no additional deposits or withdrawals. So we're just looking at what kind of interest rate would you get, money would you earn if you take that $3,000, 4.5% for four years. So we literally just multiply those three, those three things together. So 3,000 uh, times your, now we need a decimal, 0 0.045. That's my 4.5%. And then times four years. So let's just go ahead and multiply the two bigger numbers. So that's going to be 12,000 times 0 0.045. And so that's going to be 0, 0, 0, that's 10, and that's 6. Let's multiply that by 4, so that's 0, 0, 0, 8, 4. We don't need that third row because it's just a whole bunch of zeros. And so we're going to get 14, 5. We have three digits behind the decimal here, so three digits behind the decimal. So. Our interest is going to be $540. What they might ask you is, what is the new amount? So the new amount is going to be the interest plus the principal. So that's your 540 plus your initial, you started out with 3000 So sometimes a problem might ask, what's the new amount? What's your new balance and it's going to end up being that principal plus that interest so three thousand five hundred forty dollars also sometimes they might give it to you kind of in reverse they might say you've got a new balance and they might give you that so they might say let's say sixty two fifty and they might say the principal is five thousand dollars and the time is going to be five years and they want to know what's the interest rate well first uh, we need to set up our equation here i equals p r t so our interest well our interest is going to be the new balance minus the principal so if you take those two away that's going to be, the interest is going to be 1250 equals the principal, that's 5000 times the rate, which is our unknown, times the time, which is 5. So that's going to be 1250 equals 2500 times R. So we just multiply or divide, actually, both sides by 2500. You're going to get this really big fraction here. And if you simplify, simplify by 25, you're actually going to get 5 over 100 or your interest rate of 0.055%.